Hi everybody, this is KillRed40 and today we're going to be talking about Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz. Now, Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz was originally released on the Wii in 2006 and it was recently just re-released on PlayStation 4, Switch, and a bunch of other consoles new and in high definition. I had never played the original Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz, but I have some experience with other Super Monkey Ball games. I used to love Super Monkey Ball 2 on the GameCube and I also played one on the DS that I don't remember the name of, but I remember liking it. Now, the basic premise of Super Monkey Ball is that you are a monkey inside of a ball and you roll around this stage and you try to get to the objective all while collecting bananas. Now, each one of these stages has different obstacles and has cliffs that you can fall off of. And that's how you lose the game is you fall off the cliff. And that's really all there is to Super Monkey Ball. It's really simple, really fun, and just this arcadey game from the early 2000s. This simplicity actually goes a really long way with Super Monkey Ball though because when they throw in different obstacles It just changes the way that you have to play or negotiate with the stage that you're currently on The simplicity doesn't just stop at the gameplay though and actually is in the characters themselves All of these characters just look really slick and very simple There's not very many textures here and the same goes for the stages. I personally love these graphics I like the way they look everything is like colorful candy colored and I really enjoy it. It is very early 2000s from the music and the graphics and it just feels like that time period. It's, it's just very carefree and arcadey and personally I really enjoy that. The sound effects are also very poppy and nice to the ears aside from the characters saying fuck you in the main menu. <laughs> The main thing that I think I could compare Super Monkey Ball to, just to explain it a little bit further and make it a little bit more clear, is Sonic the Hedgehog. It feels kind of like a 3D Sonic the Hedgehog game, but without all of the glitchiness and a lot more of the speed and fun of it. Another thing that surprised me a lot about this game is that it actually features boss fights as well, which I do want to get more into, but later after the spoiler section. If any of this sounds interesting to you, I think I'd recommend Super Monkey Monkey Ball Banana Blitz maybe at like $15 if you can find it on sale. I think the asking price is $30. That's a bit much for me. But if you can find it for $15, I think that is a sweet deal. And you'll probably really enjoy this. Now, for people that want to hear spoilers, keep on watching. We're about to get into this game. Now, the first bunch of levels in this game are really hard to describe just because they're really similar to each other. You just roll the ball trying not to fall off. And if I could criticize this game at all, it's that I can tell that these levels were mainly meant for the Wii and that the challenge was trying to tilt the Wii remote in whatever way you needed to so that the monkey didn't fall off of the platforms. With the PlayStation 4 controller however which is what I played it on these were incredibly easy stages and that's not really a bad thing but I think that it could have used a little bit more challenge in these levels just to make it a little bit more spicy make it feel a little bit more fresh. I was able to blast through these first I want to say six stages really easily. The most interesting thing in these parts is the boss fights. I really like the design of each one of these bosses. I think they're all really slick just like the monkeys themselves and they're just really cartoony and fun. This first boss is a bird that pecks at the ground and you have to wait for him to get his beak stuck into the ground so that you can bounce on his head similar to like a Mario boss or something. Every one of them have this glowing weak point that you have to hit with your ball and I thought that these bosses were really fun. I actually really enjoyed them. This first boss was really simple, but it set up the rest of the bosses and I thought it worked really well. The next boss after that is one that shoots a bunch of torpedoes at you. And instead of hitting the boss directly, you have to hit the tip of the torpedo so that it flips around and explodes onto the boss's face. I really enjoyed this part. I thought it was a lot of fun and really creative. While I did enjoy a lot of these bosses, there were certain ones that I thought were kind of lame and I didn't really enjoy them. One of them is later on it's a squid boss that you have to like get behind it and hit it and it could have been really cool but the problem is is that it has so many arms and I wasn't quite sure what they wanted me to do other than 
just jump around aimlessly until hopefully I hit the squid. Another one that I didn't really like was this pop singer. It was just really boring and anticlimactic and it came at a part of the game when it should have been a little bit more hard. The other thing that I hated about this boss was just its design overall. I mean, look at this fucking thing. I mean, sure it's got tits, but can you say fugly face? It's disgusting and I was happy when it was dead. The next boss I want to complain about, unfortunately, is the very last one. It's like this big pirate baboon that has scissors for hands and just swings them around. I hated this boss, not because it was too easy or that the design was that bad or anything. It's just that I quickly found an exploit where I could just hang out next to his big monkey balls and quickly whip around him so that I hit him in the ass. And that is how you beat the game, is you have to hit the main boss in his butt over and over and over again. And I just thought that was kind of lame and I didn't like that I was able to... Eat so easily exploit the last and final encounter. Now the different worlds that you will see here are mainly really really good and I have no complaints about them except for volcano pools. I really enjoyed the very first stage of volcano pools. It was a lot of fun and it had a good like mixture of difficult but not impossible but then later it gets so hard and I don't understand why it's so fucking difficult when previously the rest of the levels were really really easy. It was like this huge spike of difficulty that just comes out of absolutely nowhere and blindsides you. Now my full opinions on this part are very bittersweet because I did enjoy that I had to change my character depending on the stats. Some characters did better because they went slower and other characters were better because they had a lack of bounce or could jump over certain obstacles. I really like this idea of using the different monkeys to what they're good at and having to change which character you're using. I didn't have however like the menus and how you had to back out of three different menus before you could get to the character select. Something that they could implement in newer monkey ball games is being able to just switch through characters after you die. I think that, that would be really fun and I'd actually really like that. Unfortunately that's not how it is in Banana Blitz though. The only stage that I can say that is irredeemable in my opinion is stage 7 in Volcano Pools. I really hated this stage because the camera goes fucking berserk and you can't see where you're going which is a huge problem when you're trying to go as fast as you can towards the goal. I really didn't like this part and it was awful. Another thing that kept happening was weird things with the gravity where my monkey would just suddenly fly off the stage like it was Mario Galaxy or something. I didn't understand what was happening and it was really really irritating. Thankfully the next set of stages redeems the game a lot. I love Space Case. It's, it's a great stage, a great collection of different challenges that I really really liked. They were hard but not too hard and I did switch between monkeys every now and then but it wasn't really frustrating even after I switched between them. I really liked this stage and it left me feeling good at the end of the day. I think that I would recommend Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz if you're looking for a more casual experience or just something arcadey. Definitely check this out at like $15 like I said previously and let me know in the comments if you've played other Super Monkey Balls or how you feel about what you've seen today. Thanks for watching. This is Kill Red 40 and I'm out. <laughs>